Hello everyone. Welcome you all in this session of online teaching and learning of English language. I'm Kavita Sabrawal, working as English mistress at Government Senior Secondary School for Boys, Raho, in District SBS Nagar. I'm going to teach you a lesson of English from the textbook of sixth class. The name of the lesson is The Farm House Cows. Dear students, The Farm House Cows is an interesting story. You all know what is a house. You live in a house. But what makes a farm house? The children living in the villages might have seen it. The farm houses are simply homes built on agricultural lands. As you can see in the picture on the screen, the farm houses are often combined with space for animals like cows, sheep, pigs, goats, horses, etc. Students, you must be eager to read the story. But before we start with the story, let us look at a few words which are new to you. Here is a list of words which you all must know how to pronounce and you should know their meanings as well. This will help you further to understand the story in a better way. Let's take a look at these words one by one. The first word is lanes. Students, you all know the meaning of lanes in the context of traffic control. A lane is a part of a roadway. Most public roads have at least two lanes. Now, in the context of the given story, lanes are narrow roads, especially in rural areas. The second word is roar. Students, you know that the lion is the king of the jungle and like a king, he has a loud sound called roar. So, roar means a loud, deep sound by the lion. The third word is moo. It is a characteristic sound by the cow. It is the sound that a cow makes. The cows moo. The fourth word is delicious. Students, your mom cooks tasty dishes for you and you enjoy the delicious meal. So the word delicious means very tasty and pleasant. After learning these new words, let us read the story. Rajinder got very happy that his parents had bought a farm in a village where they were moving from a city. It was so different. 
there were small green lanes instead of busy streets big trees instead of tall buildings and a lot of animals and birds rajinder counted the animals and said to his mother there are 32 goats in the fields and six little kids mom said rajinder to his mother and there are nine horses at the farm and i saw two rabbits this morning and about 12 ducks i could not count them properly because they would not stay still in one place the hens would also not stay still what about the cows said the mother have you counted those i do not like cows said rajinder they have big horns and they row at me oh no said his mother lions roar cows only moo well it sounds just like lions to me said rajinder i do not like the cows at all they are bad no they are very good friends they give us delicious gifts said mother she took down a jug of milk she poured it into a mug and gave it to rajinder he drank it so did that come from the cow he asked mother nodded well it was simply delicious so dear students here we finish the first part of the story the farm house cows now i have got a few exercises and activities for you please keep your notebook and pen ready the first activity would help you to expand your vocabulary students what you have to do is choose sounds of animals from the given box write in the given blanks two examples are given below the first example is a cow moos and the second a lion roars students now you have to choose and write the correct sounds of the given animals first a horse second an owl third a goat fourth a crow fifth a parrot sixth a frog seventh a donkey eighth a duck please do it students i will give you some time
you just have to select the correct sound word from the given box and write. You must be enjoying doing this activity. I hope you might have completed. Here we have the answers. Please check a horse neighs, an owl hoots, a goat bleats, a crow calls, a parrot talks, a frog croaks, a donkey brays, a duck quacks. Check your answers and your spellings also. Let's move forward. Now I have got an exercise. This will help you to understand the first part of the story, the farm house cows better. The question is, read each sentence. If it is correct, write yes. And if it is not correct, then write no in the given space. Dear students, I will give you some time. Please write the answers. Students, it's very easy and interesting exercise. Please write only the answers. You might have completed. Here we have the answers. Please tally and check your answers. First, Rajinder's family moved from country to town. The answer is no. Because Rajinder's family moved from a city to a village. Second, Rajinder liked cows very much. Again, the answer is no, because he did not like the cows as he was afraid of them. Third, a cow roars. This sentence is incorrect. Because a cow moves and a lion roars. Fourth, cows are very good friends. 
Yes, this is the correct sentence. Fifth, cows give us delicious gifts. Yes, this is also the correct sentence. Rajinder found cow's milk delicious. Yes, this is the correct sentence. Please check yours. Now let's move to the next exercise. Answer the following questions. A question is given and you have to find the correct answer from the given option. So it's very easy. Try to solve it. Three options each are given for every question. Students, just write the answers. No need to write all the options. Write the correct one only. The first question is, why was Rajinder very happy? The given options are, because his parents were moving to a big city. B. Because he was going on a vacation with his parents. C. Because his parents had bought a farm in a village. Second, there were dash in the village. The options are A. Small green lanes B. Busy roads C. Big buildings Please write, I'll give you some time. Third, why didn't Rajinder count the cows? The given options are A. Because they were too many in number. B. Because he did not like the cows. C. Because the cows did not stay still. Fourth, what did mother give to Rajinder to drink? The given options are A. The milk of cow B. The milk of goat C. The milk of Buffalo. Please write the answers. I hope you might have completed. Here we have the answers. Please check. First, why was Rajinder very happy? The correct option is C. Because his parents had bought a farm in a village. Second, there were dash in the village. The correct option is A small green lanes. There were 
small green lanes in the village. Please check. Moving to the third one. Why didn't Rajinder count the cows? The answer is option B. Because he did not like the cows. Fourth, what did mother give to Rajinder to drink? The correct option is A. The milk of cow. Students, I hope you are enjoying these activities. Now, we are going to move to the next activity. Students, we are going to learn the difference between the pronunciation of the sounds U as in the word book and U as in the word food. Students, there are many words in English language using the letter O twice, such as book, food, good, tool, etc. But they are pronounced differently. We have two sounds. Short U and long U. U, U. So, dear students, the given activity will help you to learn to differentiate between these two sounds. Put the following words into correct columns. The words are food, book, cook, foot, moon, noon, roof, room, good, school, look, hook, stood, took, Soon, would, to, zoo, zoom, wool. Students, under column A, you will write the words which have the letter O twice, but have the sound of short U as in the word book. Then under column B, you will write the words which have the sound of long U as in the word food. Now write the words. I will give you some time. Students, I am sure you must be enjoying doing this activity. It's an interesting activity.
you might have written by now. Now let's move to the answers. You can tally and check. I will give you some time. So students, you might have checked your answers. Now I will read the word and you should repeat after me. This way you will learn the correct pronunciation. To start with column A, book cook, foot, good, look, hook, stood, took, wood, wool. Now we move to column B. Food, moon, Noon, roof, room, school, soon, two, zoo, zoom. Students, I hope that you might have understood that when O letter is used twice, the sound is not always the same. It may be short U or long U. Try to find some more words using the letter O twice and write in your notebooks. Today we have done the first part of the story, the farmhouse cows. I hope you enjoyed this session. We will do next part in the next session. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.